All right, this is a little bit of instruction so you can complete page 48 of your packet about weightlessness and zero gravity. You should be able to make a force diagram for an object in free fall. If that's the object, so please do that. Refer to your notes if you don't know how. The next column, the picture is hard to see. This is a mass that's attached to a spring and is stretched out. The suspended mass is hanging there. Stretch of the spring probably represents you know the force, the amount of force pulling down on the spring, which is the weight of this mass. So we could even measure the weight with the spring stretch. And then the spring is released. So uh, this is a picture. Here's that same mass, and the spring here is has been retracted, and the spring and the mass are falling. And the stretch, we would say here, is zero, whereas before it was not zero. So it's up to you now. Make force diagrams for each of these situations. First, the object is the mass, and make a force diagram when it's suspended by the spring, and make a force diagram for the mass when it's falling with the spring. And then, yes or no, would you consider uh, the mass to be weightless in the first situation or the second situation? Yes or no? Because if your definition of how much weight was measured is the stretch of the spring, while well, the stretch is zero indicates zero weight, doesn't it? So is it weightless? Next column, space station orbits the Earth. Now you should be comfortable answering this question and this question after having the Newton's Mountain exercise. And then this question though here, are people in the space station in a weightless environment? So uh, thinking about how you might have answered these questions here and looking at their force diagrams, thinking about the force diagrams that you drew here, how would you answer that question? And then finally, questions in the fourth column. I think. Uh, you can answer after having done these questions here and the Newton's Mountain questions. You should be able to provide uh, an answer here based on your own reasoning. And we'll talk about it next time we're together in class.